live event for the championship series. He's just another player. He's got to play the game, not the name, if he wants to have a shot in this one. All right. Well, he's waited 18 years for this shot. It's his time right now. We have Stiff Meister in Rage Like a Boss. Stiff in those yellow Jaguars uniforms and Rage in the whites. All right, Stiff drops back to pass. Has somebody open right over the middle. And just like that, it's clockwork. You don't forget, when you're such a good player, you don't forget what it's like to be on this big stage. No, you're, you're confident, you're consistent, and he's never had a confidence problem in his life. I mean, He's Stiff, from Jersey. What would you expect? You gotta love that. Always, always, you know, his attitude during the championship run last year, it was a happy to be there. I'm on a momentum streak. Nobody can stop me attitude. That is ultimately, I feel like, what got him to where he ended up as the champion holding the belt on stage last year. Okay, and you see like Stiff that. screaming. And poor Rage didn't wrap up. And now he gives up a huge run. That's a big play for Stiff to start this one. Oh, man, and what a way to open up your first defensive drive by giving up a run that big. Rage like a boss needs to put that behind him and see if he can hold for three right here. He's going to have to, but you know what? I love Stiffmeister utilizing. This is Rashad Jennings' team of the week. He's battle ready, and you saw it right there. You push that A button, those physical backs, they break tackles. You never know when the play's going to end, and that's what Rashad Jennings did when he took that long run. Now he's down in the red zone trying to hammer it out of that single back jumbo. Goes to goal line here, second and goal. All right, everybody can get down to that red zone, but can you get seven? It's going to be a little tough here, as already we're facing third and goal from the three. Yeah, Landon Collins on defense. Eric Berry, Lawrence Taylor for Rage like a boss. Those are some big, heavy hitters on that side. Can they get that stop? Is this four down territory for Stiff? Or do you think he'll take three he'll, if it comes to it? He'd take three, but he's going to the high point to Eifert, LB and A. Ooh. Oh, he couldn't hold on. That was a great read, though. He fooled me right there. He went to Fitz. We saw that play earlier. It didn't work out. Surprised to see Fitzgerald drop it. It was in traffic. But Stiff's going to be, he can't be happy with the three after getting that long run. He was so close to breaking it. Enrico, when you use a budget back like Jennings, you saw the broken tackle it led to 60 yards, but it didn't lead to like the 65 that he needed for the score. That's the difference sometimes in that top end speed to get the job done when you save some cap. Absolutely. So you got to love Rage like a boss for getting a stop like a boss. That goal, three. Goal, goal line defense like a boss. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes. Here we go. He's bringing it out on the 25-yard line. Three minutes, 28 seconds remaining in the first quarter as Rage Like a Boss takes on Stiff. All right, he's got the David Johnson. Remember, that's a uh, different David Johnson. That's the 80 OVR David Johnson. All right, well, David Johnson's in the backfield. Shotgun formation. Rage Like a Boss's first play is a give to that 80 overall Johnson. Yeah, and, and uh, this is Daniel Lofton. He's a young kid, and I like his confidence against him. He wants to go by Rage. He wants to give a couple guys shout outs in the community. But first he's got to pick up a first down on second and seven. All right, will he be able to get that first down? If Stiff has anything to say about it, it's not going to be easy. Oh, it looked kind of easy. Looked easy right there, 11 yards for Rage. He's got the chains moving. He's only down three. And you're feeling pretty good. Like we said, he's not nervous about playing stiff and that's very rare or at least on the outside he doesn't appear to be great pocket oh and just like that stiff gets that sack that's going to turn that first and ten into second and a lot yeah not going back to the ground game second and 19 now he's got david johnson who's not the highest version he's got the big studs at receiver he's going to need to throw here got him got him wow oh. He got behind him, took the top off that defense real quick. And Rage might know something because he quickly threw that pass. He had that read the whole way. He racked it. He's lu stiff, very lucky to get the shoestring tackle on that play. I thought that was six. And so did Rage, but he said no problem. I think he has other plays to get it done. He's in the shotgun. Play action pass. Another wide open out. Gosh. Rage, he is playing like a boss right now. Yeah, and, and Rage, using the Broncos' offense, 
which has gone down a little bit in popularity as players have started to adapt to it, but he seems to know exactly what is going on. He's got his hand on his chin, he's thinking. Route across the middle that he missed earlier that he adapts to. And Aaron Rodgers is four for four, 74 yards. That's a hot one. He's carving this guy up. Absolutely, but as we've seen, everybody can get to the red zone, but it's can you get seven? I mean, he has the three best possible options in the red zone, so I would be shocked if he doesn't have some plays here to score. All right, the first one to give doesn't get very far. First and goal from the seven turns into second and goal from the six. Yeah, Rico, and sometimes you like to get a little bit closer. Like, there's certain areas where certain throws and plays will work differently, so maybe he didn't like it from the seven or the eight, and he wants to get inside the five to try it. Ooh. Ew. That was a very interesting pass. Looked like it had a lot of hang time underneath, but he got it out there just to where he needed to allow him to take that corner. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wide right. Not, <laughs> not a boss move. What is it with Florida kickers <laughs> and wide right? These northern Florida kickers. <laughs> Uh-oh, Rico. Some, so some tough subjects here, but Rage drives down. Misses the extra point, which you don't see a lot. That's going to lead to some crazy scoring in this one. Now, Stiff only down three. I tell you what, that touch pass, though, the precision, what he did right there. It was a beauty. He double tapped the receiver icon. So I don't know if he panicked and hit it twice. He's on Xbox. He's calling out. He's trying to get uh, some notice as his A button seems to be uh, messing up. So we'll jump in on that. But what I'm surprised about, Rico, tell me about this. His name is Rage the happiest kid I've ever met. He, he, and here's the thing. He has not stopped smiling since he's gotten here. But I wouldn't stop smiling either. You're in a great position. You held Stiffmeister, the reigning champion from last year, to three on the first drive. You came down, marched down the field, got seven. Oh, sorry. Got six. You're in control of this game right now. Yeah, I mean, you're in control. You're looking good. If you can slow down the battle ready. If you were to ask Rage, and right now, guys, they're just sorting out some issues with uh, the potential controller here. So it looked like the A button uh, was not working for the kickoff. So they'll get that set up. We've got some of the best guys going on in the uh, world at making sure that these games are fair. And they will sort that out and get it to work as quick as possible. But, Rico, if you're Rage, you just came down after giving up three and had an awesome drive. That throw to Randy Moss, did you feel like he knew something there? I mean... What a throw, what a strike. He was able to make all his pre-snap reads like that. Hike, gone. And it was right there. You got to love that. You can tell he spent a lot of time in the lab. He's played a lot of games. He's gotten a lot of looks so that he knows what's good and what's not right from the read. Yeah, and when you face the single back jumbo, we've said it before, right? These guys aren't going to be surprised by it. It's not like Stiff is showing up to his first tournament with this single back jumbo and surprising people. Rage last night said that he would be ready. He said, however, that if he doesn't win this tournament, he expects Stiff to win this tournament. So you're playing the guy that if you don't win, you think is going to win the event. And that is impressive that he was able to stand up for himself like that on that first drive back. Now, here's the question. Building on that momentum, he got, he held him to three, marched down, got his score. Can he get a stop here? And if so, is Stiff going to be able to hang? Very, very good question. Hit stick right there from Khalil Mack off the edge for Jennings, stopping the run quickly for Boss. All right, second and 10 on the 40-yard line. Stiff Weiser with the ball, trailing 6-3 to three here at the Jacksonville Madden Club Series. Stiff in those gold uniforms, fancy. He's got Ed McCaffrey out there and Fitzgerald at the wing. He's using the wide receiver wing package out of this jumbo formation. All right, he sees something, motions him out, drops back. He's looking through his reads. Here comes a little bit of pressure. Oh, that he was lucky to not have that one picked. And for Rage, that was the, that's not the read face. That wasn't the read. That's not what Stiff needed to throw. These guys have a friendly relationship, and it's great to see them both playing at a high level right now, but Stiff got to find a better throw than that on second and 10. Now he's facing third and 10. All right, he's going to need to pick up some yards here and pick them up quickly because you don't want to be facing fourth and 10 against Rage like a ball. Ooh! Uh-oh. He went on top. Can he get it? SWAT team. SWAT team for Rage. He wanted the interception. That's my I want an interception right there, face. But coverage defense, he, dropped, he only rushed three. His end 
came in and actually swooped around, forced that quick throw, that touch pass over the top. Rage able to get back there, swat it. Couldn't get the pick, because now it's fourth and 10. That's why Madden players want those pit to those turnovers. All right, fourth and 10. He's sending the pressure. Oh my. He got that pick, and he's looking to get out of there. They didn't give him the pick last time. He got it this time, and he's playing D <laughs> like a boss. What a lurk from Rage right there. Stiff, uh, not the read. Had the route on the left. Remember, we just saw that play, Rico. What did I tell you? I taught you the jumbo last game. What did I say? Two, two corners. Which one do you throw? The one that's not being guarded manually. Correct. And Anthony Barr underneath, such a talented player inside of Madden, and Rage uses him. Awesome. Now he's got David Johnson going up the middle for a big gain. That, that 80, David Johnson, is looking phenomenal right now. He was able to carve that defense up. He moves the chains. He's already at the 12-yard line, first and 10. He's up 6-3. He is in control of this He's game. in control, but one thing I find frustrating for Rage is if you don't cash in here, you're only up 9-3, which is 6 instead of 7 because you missed uh, the extra point there with the situation. So we'll see how that ultimately ends up. Throw it away. All right, he tried to playmaker the halfback. Ultimately, his first incompletion of the day was a smart throw away. For a young kid, that's great poise in the pocket. Now, here's the question. If he does happen to get six, are you going for two this early? Great question, great question. When you ask these guys, most of the time they say, if I have a two-point play, yes, but if, I, but if I don't, I'm not gonna force it early. All right, he finds that running back in the fumble, flat. Fumble, he fumble, gives fumble, it up. fumble, 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 fumble. Oh! And Stiff gets that turnover right back. Yeah, and Rage through to the flat, and that's how the game is operating right now. You have big hitters with hit power. Stiff has stacked his defense with those studs at the cornerback position. Jalen Ramsey, he's got Night Train Lane, Mel Blunt, that hit power we talked about in the pregame. Uh-oh, and now Jennings busts one's up. Uh-oh, and then Stiff stops heading forward. So he's displeased at that. He's standing up. His paddles. All, all over right, the place. we have a uh, breaking news. All right, well, I'm going to talk to Mr. Miami Man. He won his quarterfinal matchup, and he is actually feeling confident moving forward. He said it doesn't matter who he faces in the semifinals, he, they're going down. Back to you, Rico. All right, well, Mr. Miami Man moves on. He had jumped out of the lead earlier. He was able to hold on to it. Yeah, and that's the master gamer versus uh, Miami Man game off stream. Miami Man, a veteran in this community, been playing for a long time, a lot of years, a lot of different challenges and events. Master Gamer, the youngster, wanted to come out here and have a great performance today. He ultimately didn't play his best. He turned the ball over a couple times. It was 17-3, and he gave up a big play that made it 24-3. So Master disappointed as Stiff picks up the first down. But that's a tough way to go out, Rico, in your first match. You don't come all this way and you know you want to play your best game but as he needs to hold his head high once again he made it to the final eight thousands and thousands of people wanted to be in that seat he was in today but he fought he got here and all he can do is learn from this he's going to get himself some serious points now he's all set he can build on this going forward you're right rico we've been speaking about opportunity master still has an opportunity as most of these players here today do as the Madden Challenge, our third major single elimination qualifying is happening this weekend uh, the, online. So those guys will have to get home and start playing those games as he tries to scramble out and Stiff can't get rid of it. Does pick up two yards, but you don't want to have your quarterback take a hit like that. No, not at all. you got to make sure you get down. He very well could have given that ball back on a fumble. Now third and two here on the 46-yard line. This is a big play. He's going to go ahead and hand it off. Oh, does not get it. Yeah, and a good play that Stiff says right there because Anthony Barr stood him up right at the line. Now, Jennings didn't fall forward there, but that's a reason that you have him on your squad. But Anthony Barr against Jennings, point Barr. Absolutely. All right, here it goes. A huge play right here. Fourth and one on the 45. Boss, oh, and QB sneak. Great call. He gets the first down and moves the sticks. Yeah, and he's going to hurry up because he can as he's in the jumbo. So he's back at the line, two and a half to go in the second quarter. He's got to take a timeout. He did convert. That's a somewhat of a risky call for a full yard. Not many got, guys like it for inches. They don't love it for, for a full yard, but he knew he had the front that he wanted. And a great play by Stiff to be confident in the read uh, to sneak it there. 
All right, we have two minutes and 34 seconds remaining. Six to three, Raves like a boss is leading against Stiff. Stiff drops back, he's looking for a receiver. Oh, he gets it away just before he takes that big hit. Great pressure there from Rage. Stiff just didn't have the time in the pocket to get that throw off, and he knows he needs one here. All right, another give down the middle, makes one miss. Oh, and he gets right to the marker. Yeah, Jennings is eaten today. 10 for 93, little first down point, moves the chains. The pressure from the edge has been there, but up the middle has been a little bit soft for Rage. He's going to have to solidify that if he wants to hang in this one. All right, he's still in that formation, looking to run clock a little bit. The flying think he's V, Rico. Take it down to the two-minute warning. Yeah, yeah, I think he is. He's gonna, you know, his opponent Rage gets the ball at half. Right, Stiff came out, got three to start the game, and so he can't give Rage a chance at a last possession. Otherwise, he, he's gonna get two in a row, and that would be really bad for his chances in a Madden game. Definitely don't want that. All right, looking to make something happen right here on first down. He drops back, picks up all that blitz. Uh-oh. Has a man. Oh! Not the read from Stiff. He's mad that he didn't get a better click on uh, to try and go up with Fitzgerald, but that's not the read. way to make a living. Yeah. That was throwing in the traffic. All right, back under center. Second and 10 on the 33-yard line. Sends man in motion, empty backfield. All right, he picks up the blitz. Looking, he has him on that drag route. He gets around to the outside, picks up the first down and a few more. Yeah, that's a hot throw from Stiff on the drag underneath. A great read to Fitzgerald. He's one of the best receivers in Ultimate Team, and that is why we've seen him make big plays already today, and I expect to see him make more as Stiff gets down into the red zone. He trails right now by three. Interesting fact. Oh, he found him. He dragged him in, and now he sees some emotion from Stiff. He's regaining that form from last year. He's getting his championship swag back. And remember, he, earlier he called that play, and he threw to the wrong side. And this time he found Tammy open, threw it to him, has a 13-play, 91-yard drive, silences everybody. He does give Rage about a minute and a half left, but he'll have to get a stop on defense. But if you're stiff, that's the exact drive you needed to get back inside this game. Absolutely. And not only did I get him right back in the game, if Rage isn't careful, Stiff could get the ball back. True. Enrico, what do turnovers lead to? Points. Always. So that is exactly what happened. Stiff stood up for himself in the red zone with a big hit on David Johnson, who's known to definitely <coughs> pop up the football. And then he turned it into a great drive. Oh, tried to make that throw on the run. Wasn't able to get it done here. Rage looks, this is the first time I've seen him a little nervous, maybe. He threw that. He seemed like he had a chance to get to the outside with the quarterback. I mean, he should really be in control of this game is, is I think, what he's thinking. But that that can't be what he's thinking, right? I mean, it, is, it should be what he's thinking, but it's not going to help you on this drive. You have one mission on this drive, and it's get points before the half. All right, and he finds him open. Is he going to make him miss? Oh, so close. Yeah, he tried to juke a little bit, but that, once again, isn't the best David Johnson that there is. He didn't want to take another hit. He's already coughed one up, and Ballantyne makes the tackle. That's a player that the Madden Daily crew who are watching their guy stiff right now love. They love Ballantyne. The guy Ballantyne's out. Scrambles, back foot throw. Herman Moore almost gets to the middle, takes a hit stick but does pick up nine yards, and on second and one, he's gonna hurry up. He's got 53 seconds, all his timeouts, but he's just trying to get some tempo going against the play action, maybe looking for the seam. He's gonna scramble with Rodgers and get down, and then he's gonna take a timeout. All right, as he takes that timeout, let's take a quick timeout for a game break. All right, Killer Cam on offense, drops back, looks, throws a 27-yard strike to take the lead. He goes up with the score, but the extra point was blocked. 6-0, Killer Cam leads. It looks like that's a little contagious with the extra points here. Ooh, stiff with some pressure. Nice sack, second and 14. 37 seconds at the half rage. You see that face, that determination. Trying to grab any single point he can. If he can get a field goal, he'll pull within one point. He gets the ball after the half. If you just tune it in right now, you saw it, Rico, in our first match. A great game, True Boy defeated his opponent, Trey. Master Gamer lost the off-stream match to Miami, and now we got this match in a tight window. All right, he looks over the middle. Oh, 
And <laughs> we said he couldn't get too excited or get ahead of himself. Stiff with the big pick before the half. If he can go ahead and get some points here, he's yeah. back in that game. And he had a great return goal with Mel Blum, but once again, he stood up. I don't know what is happening here, but Stiff has got to control, keep it, keep everything in check, you know what I mean? Is he Looked a little stiff on the return? Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, he's back under center where he's comfortable. Sitting that running back in motion. Empty backfield. He drops back. He picks it up. Oh, he sheds the block, but doesn't able to shed two. And he's brought down for a loss. Second and 12. Great defense from Rage, keeping him inside. Usering, very active. If you're new to Madden, make sure you watch the defender with the ring underneath his icon. It, you'll see him very active running all over the place. That's the player that Rage is controlling, and he's doing a great job being very active with his users. Right on the Jaguars logo right now. Watch him run around like a maniac. All right, Stiff drops back. He's looking. He has a few people, but they're all deep. Couldn't find anybody and throws the ball away. Under Rage. pressure. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> throws it away, a smart play from Stiff. And now with 10 seconds left, not a great chance. He needs 25 yards to be in field goal range. So let's see if he targets McCaffrey deep across the middle. Look for a big play from Stiff right here. He might have been under pressure, but there's ice, ice baby in his veins. Ooh, he's going deep downfield. Fitz. SWAT team, SWAT team. Stiff just four for 12 on offense. Hold Y. That's sometimes what the community will say with Stiff. He loves to go for the deep downfield aggressive catch. But as a champion, he's got more to his game than that. And that's one of the reasons he's here today. He wants to prove that 2016 was no fluke for Well, if Stiff. he gets another half like this one, he's going to go ahead and be able to win it. He has two seconds remaining. He's dropping back, looking to try to make something happen. Oh, when he gets the hit before he's able to get that ball off. So it looks like we're going to go ahead into the halftime with 10-6. Stiff in the lead against Rage like a boss. Rage seemed to be in control of that whole game early on. Couple plays happened, and now look where he is. Yeah, so he held Stiff to a field goal on the opener. It was 3 nothing. He then scored a touchdown, missed the extra point, got a pick on a great play, was going to cash it in on points, turned it over, and then Stiff had a tremendous drive, and then Rage turned it over. So all of a sudden, he had the battle in his favor, but then he gave it back, and now Stiff has the lead. But fortunately, if you're Rage, you've got the ball. You've got the best quarterback in football, Aaron Rodgers under center, and now is your time to make your push, make your drive, take the lead back, and put the pressure back on Stiff. Oh, that's what he's going to need to do, but it looks like Stiff's going to try to apply the pressure now to him as he sends the house. He was able to hold him to two yards on that first run. He's looking to stop the run, but also put him in a position where if he does decide to go up top, he can make a play. All right, play action. Rage is looking. He's sending a man, and he has everybody covered. Yeah, when you say he had everybody covered, Rico, he only put one guy out on a route. And Stiffmeister is in a mental pretzel. He's actually yelling at Rage, like, how are you only going to run one route against me, bro? This is intense. I don't know what's happening. These guys are duking it out right now. Third and eight. God, that is a well, hot one. That one route he ran was good enough to move the sticks just there. Stiff needs to stay focused. It looks like he's getting a little animated he's here. He's meditating, bro. He's, he's like, I don't know what this guy is doing. He's inside my head. He's building a campfire. <laughs> oh, you got shotgun formation. Rage looking to put some points on the board as he trails 10-6 to 6 in the third quarter here at the Madden Club Series, Jacksonville, Florida. Let's see, he's got play action. We'll see if he can pick up pressure. Coverage drops, rolls right, and he's just going to instantly scramble, and he's not going to slide because he's a boss. Not a smart move, but a boss move. He would have liked to slid, I bet. But he does get the first down, and it doesn't bite him. If he does that again, though, it starts to add up, Rico. The hits add up. Oh, they definitely do. They're going to take that toll, and you want to make sure you're holding on to the ball. All right, he drops back, has a man open in the flat. Oh, makes the first guy miss and brought out of bounds a little short of the stick. All right, breaking news when it feels like breaking, and that barn burner we're at, Stevie J answers right back with an amazing score here on that QB sneak. He gets in, and he made the extra point to take a 7-6 lead over Killer Gann. So Stevie J from Tampa, Clearwater area is where he likes to represent. Is he the best player in Clearwater? Oh, that's going to be tough. Not 
because Los is there, not because Jet is there. It's because Problem visited there and unequivocally tweeted he's the best player in Tampa. Eyeball emoji involved in that? <laughs> it was great. But Stevie J over there battling back 7-6 in the offstream. Thank you for the update, Rico. Randy Moss doing some work in rage, just driving back down on the field. He's in these white Jaguar uniforms with the ball, stiff on defense in the golds. Can he get a stop? All right, he drops back. He's trying to make his read. He has him over the top. Oh, he can't hold on once again. Vernon Davis in traffic. Not the read. A tight window, just close, close, but just got to be a little bit more precise when you're playing a guy in defense who's got the hit power that Stiff does. All right, here we go. Second and 10. Ball on the 21-yard line. Looking to make something happen here. Trailing 10-6. to 6. Wow. Herman Moore, Rico, down to the one-yard line, and Stiff looks deflated after that one. What a throw by this kid. <laughs> he throws one in traffic to Vernon Davis, not the guy. He throws it to Herman Moore, one of the best, tallest, toughest receivers in Ultimate Team down in the red zone. Tremendous throw, and now he's in goal line. He's going to try and pound this thing in with David oh, Johnson. Are we going to get a sneak here, or you think David Johnson? Oh, he gets it outside. And it's that easy. Look at the... I think I see a little bit of relaxation there. He looks a little relieved that he was able to get in the end zone there. The happiest kid to just to be here. He tucks that one in the right side. A 75-yard drive. Takes the lead back from Stiff. 13-10 for Rage. And that missed extra point can come back as now a field goal ties it. He doesn't need a touchdown to beat him. Yeah, that is crucial, crucial. But he had to take the point to make it, you know, the field goal game. And... You never know where these special teams are going to play. We, we talked about the off-stream match. Stevie J's up 7-6 right now over Killer Cam because he blocked an extra point. And special teams are a huge part of Madden as Rashad Jennings takes it up for 20 yards up the middle. That is the battle ready. Team of the week, Rashad Jennings. 35 salary cap. Remember, this is Madden ultimate team, so you only have 850 cap to spend. All right, Stifler. Stifler back under center. Looking to make something happen here. He's trailing 13 to 10, but not able to do much on that run. He needs to put something together here. Do you like him to stick to the ground game or take it up top? I mean, Rico, he's in the jumbo, and it, it is a passing set. I know it looks like it's a run set, and a lot of people consider it that. And then when people run it that aren't highly trained, they think it's a run set. I've done that before. Uh, it's a pass first set, so he can get reads, but. That's a dot. And wow, and he's fighting right now. In, in case you weren't sure it's a dot, Stiff yelled it so everybody in attendance knew it was a dot. Absolutely. <laughs> I fully expect Stiff to be uh, a full Jaguars fan and like be in the pool for next season as the Jaguars look to get to the playoffs. You love that those pools out there, don't you? Dude, they're sick. Yes, you gotta love it. It is an absolutely beautiful stadium. It's a beautiful day here for Madden. We've had some great games and they just keep getting better. All right, ball on the 14 yard line, a little over a minute remaining in the third quarter. Rage up 13 to 10 over Stiff. Randall trying to find some time, trying to roll out, can't scramble, can't get away, can't throw the ball out. And Stiff is displeased. And these guys are chirping back and forth. I love the way these two guys battle. They said, hey, what do I put in my headphones? Stiff has game audio in his headphones. Uh, True Boy went with Future, so these guys like to go with different mixes, but Stiff likes to hear the hot routes. Well, he definitely heard that hit there that they got on Red. Wow. Third and seven, he's sending the halfback out of the backfield. See, your, your opponent doesn't know what you're in. Oh! And a wide open drop, and Stiff is not happy. And Rage points to the sky and says, needed that one. And now Stiff has to kick the field goal to tie this one, but Rage is going to get the ball back. Rico, you ever dropped an open pass? What's your worst drop pass? Uh, it would actually have happened at the Orlando Pro Bowl when we were recording at the Combine, and I couldn't catch a cold. Yeah. <laughs> Could buy one. Uh, hopefully on the updates, I'll have RG hands, and uh, I'll be all right. But speaking of updates, ooh, it looked like he was a play away from taking that one to the house. Yeah, 
almost, uh, we haven't seen, we've seen big special teams plays in the kicking game, uh, on, on field goals and extra points. I have not seen many return touchdowns at the club series. I think we had one in Seattle, but otherwise, not too many special teams returns have been broken. Uh, and that leads to these long drives, these situations. Do you, if you're rage, try and make this the last possession, Rico? The degree of difficulty to have a five-minute drive, super, super tough. Do you think he's got it? I think he does have it just because it's tough when running the ball's not in your M.O. But everything about him has shown that he can run the ball. And when you can run the ball, you are in control of the game and you are in control of the clock. But notice, as it gets down to crunch time, it's the fourth quarter, yeah, yeah. Meister's defense didn't even bend. And it does look like it's going to break. Fourth quarter tie game here. Stiff, Rage, Jacksonville Club Series. Rage on offense. All righty, Josh back. He's looking for a man. Oh, he gets in there quickly. This is when big-time players make big-time plays. Stiff is showing you why he was last year's winner. Yeah, we saw True Boy stand up for himself in the fourth quarter and get the victory, and now Stiff is looking to do the same. This is a big-time third and ten. All right, he's dropping back. He's just looking. Uh oh, this could be interesting. Let's go. Good defense. Stiff Good is defense. right there with him. He said he's going to make it tough for him every turn. Now, fourth and ten, right here in the 31. Do you like him going for it here? Tilt like a boss. He's on <laughs> tilt like a boss. I don't know if he should go for this, but he is one of the best players in the community because he earned this spot. He earned the chance to go for it, the right. Here's why you go for it here. If he gets stopped, he's gonna, he's on the short side of the field. Even if he gives up a touchdown, he'll still have time to get a possession back. It's gonna be tough to run out the clock from the 31. He wouldn't be here if he didn't have to play for fourth and 10. But now to still have a defense for fourth and 10. Not there. Mm, not there. Look how calm he is. We, he is sitting there unbothered, unfazed, facing 4th and 10 on his own 31. That was a dot. This 18-year-old is a grown man. He's excited to play. He's finally able to qualify as he has reached the proper age to get into these events. He's already been playing. He's already been a factor in a few events. And uh, definitely his guys that he labs with, Habugi, his skills, players that he wanted to shout out for labbing him up. Uh-oh. And there you go. He threw the pick. Oh! Jaguars, Telvin Smith with the pick. Stiffmeister is hyped. Rage knows he made a mistake right there. He's shaking his head. Stiff gets the pick. Tie game, four minutes to go. That one hurts if you're Rage. Stepping outside of his comfort zone, looking to make those throws. He had control of the game, running the ball. He got away from it. As you said, he blinked. Right, and, and we've seen that. I mean, with these younger guys uh, that just don't maybe have the experience. True Boy, he's earned the experience to sit in that chair. He blinked in the Mo game earlier, and maybe he carried that on. Now, Rage, he's got to go through the growing pain sometimes with the experience. He's not out of this one. He needs to stand up here on D. Oh, that was a great pass. He led him in a perfect way, but he's at the two-yard line now. Yeah, and, and he got there really quickly. Do true. you still run a little bit of clock here? No, you just score. You score if you're stiff. You got Telvin Smith, the Jaguar, on the pick, and you're looking to cash in. You just threw a dot, and now you're going to pound this thing in with Rashad Jennings. If you can do it, you're okay with that not being a score, but you are chewing the clock right now and just trying to find a way to punch it in. It's funny, yesterday uh, at dinner I asked these guys, would you rather be down with one time out on the last drive, or would you rather be, uh, I mean, sorry, down with the ball, or would you rather be up on defense? A lot of them said they'd rather be up on defense. It's not range. He wanted it on his offense. He said, I'm going to score. Well, he's going to need to score, but if he can actually hold here, he called spinner, good D. Good D, you know I like to, to rag on it, but it's really, really good effective defense if your opponent isn't expecting it. Stiff needs a score here. Oh my God, ball, ball, ball! And that is brutal for Rage. He forced the fumble. What stick work to shoot through the gap, knock it loose. The ball was out there, Rico, for anybody's take. Oh, wow. Now, while he didn't recover that fumble, he did hold him to three. There's two minutes, 34 seconds remaining. 
This is where you want to be. You're in control of your own destiny. Field goal ties it. Touchdown wins it. You're here. Big stage. Jacksonville Madden Club Series. What else did you want? This could be, it's like the best present ever. A chance to defeat the 2016 Madden champion with a two-minute game-winning drive. You're down a field goal, and you've got to get it going if you're Rage. This is the opportunity you've practiced for, you've waited for. He's probably got Phil Collins in his headphones. He's about to hit that drum solo. His mom's in attendance. This is a family event for the kid. Daniel Lofton. I want to see what he can do here. He's been around for five plus years, and this is his chance to prove he belongs. If you would have, oh, look at that. He made a miss. Oh, that was a great little bit of stick work. If you would have asked him before the game, hey, you'll be down three, two minutes, three timeouts left, got the ball on the 40-yard line, how would you feel about that? He'd have to take it. He'd have to want to be in that position. And here he finds himself in it, fourth quarter, with a chance to win it. Yeah, and he's putting the paddle down. He's, he's at the two-minute warning. He looks relaxed. Remember, his name's Rage, so you expect him to be angry. But the smile is what I what reminds me of him the most. Two-minute warning. And he's smiling now, but he'll be squeezing even more if he's able to get in the end zone here and pull out this victory. And yes. He's dropping back. He's has. looking. Uh -oh, that's not, that is... He, uh, he threw that one. He's l very fortunate. However, he is an extremely talented player. He has Randy Moss, 6'5". Herman Moore, 6'5". Mike Evans, 6'5". That was the difference between that being a pick and not being a pick. And he knew. I, there was no question he was running that ball after that miraculous catch he just made in traffic. That was a tough way to make a living. He lived to see another down. Here we go. So he's already in field goal range. And Stiff's taking his timeouts because he's in field goal range. He wants to have some time to answer. Block shed. He wanted a fumble. Khalil Max having a big time day. Two and a half sacks off the edge. And Rage knows he needs a first down play on third and eight. Does he go back to the outs? Does he go back to Herman Moore down the sideline or Moss? Let's see what he decides to uh, try here. Notice he didn't even let the clock run down. Corner. Oh, and he sacked and he out, of field, sack out of field goal range. Possibly. It's going to be right on the edge. He's going to try and kick it. This is, he's already missed an extra point. Stiff takes his last time out. Minute 25 to go. Field goal like a boss. This is going to be close, Rico. Can he make this? I don't yarder. know. His kicker is Justin Tucker, the best kicker in all of Ultimate Team. But. He punched it through. He Woo. punched it through like a boss. When I tell you that he barely made that one. Now, if you tell Stiff, tie game, minute 20, you have the ball, no timeouts. He's happy as well. Put it on his offense. Let him do what he does. Just throw it downfield, baby. Absolutely. Let an athlete be an athlete. But you got He's the jumbo. Try to make some plays. You got the jumbo. I know it's a passing set. We keep going over it. Let's see if he tries to run, though, here. He went with that true boy cutback. Wasn't able to find the daylight that true boy found, but was able to pick up three. Actually really like that because it gets the clock going. You know, you don't want to throw a couple incompletions and then punt it back with like a minute left. So you get the clock moving a little bit. You just have to get a field goal. You got plenty of time. Madden time, you know, it's about one and a half to two times how many more plays you can get off if you're, if you're quick. So I expect Stiff here to have a play to go downfield now. All right, empty backfield. Stiff's looking to make something happen. Drops back, picks up all the heat. He's running, and he's, he's scrambling, running. but the clock uh -oh. is, uh-oh, uh-oh. The clock is gonna keep moving, and that's a, a, a lot of yards to concede right there, because that gets you into striking distance of one throw, putting you in field goal range. I like the right side, Larry Fitz, on the sideline, potentially, if the pressure gets picked up. Oh, no. Oh! That might have that might have won him the game. That, if he wins this game, the fact that he got the ball out, if he got sacked, it's almost over. Instead, the clock is stopped, and now he's going to go back and have a shot play to pick up those yards. Look at Ed McCaffrey coming all seconds. the way across on the 42-yard line. Tie game here. We have stiff and rage like a boss. Is he going to be able to get it done? He drops back. He's looking for somebody. 
Has a man open. Will he be able to get out of bounds? Oh, he does with 14 seconds remaining on the 47-yard line. Yeah, and I liked Rage clicking on and trying to beat him to the sideline to tackle him away from there. And now we're about 10 yards away from the field goal. I don't think he can run and get time. He's going to look to the halfback out of the backfield and see if he can throw a sideline route. If he does, his opponent takes a timeout. Very smart. To, and Stiff maybe thought he had a little beat on it. He's thinking, like, how can I get this many yards and then get out of bounds? Because I can't really risk getting tackled in bounds and then kick the field goal with that many seconds left. Stiff, his kicker is Steven Gostowski, and he kicks very slow kick beater, and it's going to be a factor here. Got to get out of bounds, I think. All right, 14 seconds on the clock. High game. Stiff on O. Does he take one shot up top? Make it rain, Stiff. There he goes. He rolls. Oh! Okay, okay, okay. Rico, eight seconds left? He has timeouts. In rage, is hyped up. Stiff has the opposite emotion of rage, which is like apathy. Wow. That was tough. But we're now one dot away from a timeout with one second left. We're a seven second dot away from Rage. All right, uh-oh, and he has timeouts. And he had to take the hit, he's at the 43. Let's do some math here, Rico, carry the 60. two. Watch this, 60 yarder, Justin Tucker, can he make this, Rico? Uh -oh. This it's is short. it for all of it. It's short, he can't make it, so here's what he's gonna do. He can't take another timeout because you can't take back-to-back -back timeouts. So what he has to do now is wait for the play clock to run out and then he has to take a delay a game and then potentially go deep. I don't think the game will end. I don't think the game will end. I think he's going to have one shot to throw down field. Because he's got a timeout, it would, it would uh, huge. But notice how he knew was that green kick arrow right there. He knew that it was too far for him to kick the field goal. Justin Tucker takes the five-yard delay, and now we're going to have a 48-yard Hail Mary for the bread. And who's his quarterback? Aaron Hail Mary Rogers. And who do you want throwing in if you have a Hail Mary? And three, six, five receivers, Rico. Three, six, five receivers. The aggressive catch. Oh, he got his hands on it, but wasn't able to pull it in. We had an amazing game that came down to the end in our first one. We had some incredible off stream, and now this goes into overtime. What more can you ask here from Everett Bankfield as these guys compete to move on to Burbank? Rage on offense. He won the toss. Stiffmeister kicks off. Sanders brings the ball back and lays down before taking a big hit. So Stiffmeister on defense. A touchdown wins it. A field goal extends the game. There's been some high-level tactics going on in the last couple seconds. That field goal maneuver. The yards are even. Turnovers have been close. But Rage is one drive away from taking down the Madden 16 champion. <laughs> Wow. He had one man to beat, and that was a touchdown? Or if he would have laid that down, because that was a big hit, that would have been a touchdown. Jalen Ramsey, that man. He is a bad man. Great hit stick right there in the flat. Rage, got to be careful here. Can't cough it up. He moves the sticks again. Hip is hyped up. Slot post from the Broncos playbook, Gun Snugs. <laughs> Great play. All right, here we go. Another shotgun set. Running back on the right hand side. Moves to the left. All right. Oh, he's got him, he coach. Rack catch. Got him. Randy Moss, walk off victory. Rage takes down Stiff with an over the top. Dot. Straight touchdown, In Obi. overtime, Rico. Can you believe that play? What did I say the first time he did that today? It, he saw something. He knew something. He was going to come back to it, and he did it. Oh, look at him. He's talking. Wow. This is just getting better and better. We watched last year's winner get taken to overtime by a baby. He just became legal to play. What a this performance from Rage to take the game into overtime, to stand up with the clock situation, to shut down Stiff, get the ball in overtime, and then go to Randy Moss, your playmakers, in the biggest moment. 
rack catch touchdown. I have to know if he was saving that, if he uh, did, because that was just the most impressive way to end a game I've seen in some time, Rico. Well, there's no reason for you to wait. We'll find out right now from Spence. He's with the winner. All right, thanks, Rico. Rage, what a game. You're cool, calm, collected. What is your mindset the entire game? It's for my family, man. It, honestly, it sounds cheesy, but, you know, I wouldn't be here without my mom. You know, she's done everything for me, and this is for, for my family. Yeah, that's incredible. She's in the crowd cheering you on. Now, you're moving on. How are you, you making adjustments? You sticking with the plan? I'm sticking with the plan. I got here for a reason. I just turned 18. Um, you know, the whole, you know, under 18, there's a lot of good players under 18. You know, there's Joel and all of them. Um, so, you know, that's just what it is. So, yeah, absolutely. Now, what's it like to be?